hi let's see how we can integrate logic app with form recognizer so for this exercise what i will do i will send an email to this outlook account and upon which azure logic app will pick that particular email and it will check for attachment if it is having attachment then it will extract the data otherwise it will ignore it okay so how we can do it i will create a new, new logic app workflow okay so that will be inside integration we'll click on logic app okay and here we'll select resource group and type will be consumption logic app name okay we'll write logic app with form recognizer zero 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 one let me okay and reason will be central india okay we'll click on review and create we'll click on create Okay, we'll go to resource. We'll select this option, blank logic app. And our first step will be Outlook. Okay, so here we have this option, Outlook.com. And action will be, our uh, trigger will be when a new emails arrive so this will be folder inbox import is, is any with only attachment yes and include attachment yes okay i have already established a connection earlier so that's why it's not asking me to enter a credential otherwise i have to establish a connection you can uh, establish a connection also okay next step will be form recognizer form recog okay so we have this option and for this task we'll use a pre-built model for invoice so we'll select this option and license invoice so here again i have established a connection okay what you can do if okay if i want to use a new connection i can use it or i can use existing existing ones okay i will create a new one okay so connection name invoice 001 and here i have to enter a url and key how we will get it okay so earlier we've, in earlier videos we have created this form recognizer so i'm using that same one so from here i will get endpoint and key i will copy this endpoint and will paste it here again i will go back here and copy this key okay we'll paste it here and we'll click on create okay so now we have to pass a document content or image file any of these of these two options we can choose okay so we'll select uh, we have something called attachment content okay we'll select this option and automatically it converted in a for each loop okay we'll save this portion okay let's uh, test this one okay so i will run it so now it's looking for an email so what i will do 
I will go to my Gmail first and I will send a email invoice test and then I will include attachment here we have some attachment okay I will test this one first okay we'll click on send now go back to outlook okay we'll receive an email shortly okay so I got this document we'll go back to logic app okay. it should start processing the document okay it's in orange color it's processing it it's taking some time okay now it's successful okay, so we'll check the output here okay so what we got content type application okay content then we have output status is successful created time last a bit time version then result and page okay we'll scroll down and i will copy this particular document result into notepad okay here we have i will open this invoice also let's open this invoice so here we have invoice number as 100 date is 04032021 okay let's check the output so date is okay it's converted date format okay and invoice id is 100 go back to document then we have salesperson PO number, quantity description, unit price total six. Description is invoice three, unit price is hundred, total is six hundred, total due is seven hundred. Let's check all these values. Invoice total is seven hundred. Okay, it's fine. Then we have item value is six hundred. Then we have this description. Description is invoice 3. That's also correct. Quantity is 6. Yeah, this one is also correct. Unit price is 100. That's also fine. Okay, and purchase order is 1, 2, 3. We have this purchase order number. That's fine. Okay, we'll test it for one more document. Let's see. Okay, so we'll go to logic app first. Okay, this is my logic app. I will trigger this one again. And I can check run history. Let's place a file and then see what will happen. Okay, so I will go to Gmail, click on Compose, then oh, not this one. Sure. Okay, and subject. We'll include attachment as well. Okay, we'll use this particular text file and we'll click on send. Okay. Okay, I have received a file as well. 
so this is my document okay let's go back to logic app let's refresh this one so it's saying that it got skipped twice okay run history is 50 okay let's wait for one more minute okay it got fired okay so let's check the output click on this one Okay, we'll go to output link. So here we have the data. Let's go back to logic app and we'll click on run history. Okay, it's running. Let's refresh it. Okay, it's successful. Okay, and less output. So we have result and then document result. We'll copy this entire data and we'll place inside notepad and we'll open that file as also. So we have this file. Okay, let's zoom this one more. Yep. So here we have this invoice state three three two zero two one. Invoice number is this one. Okay, let's check all the items. Okay. So we have first field is billing address so billing address is this one so we got sector 200 noida up uttar pradesh okay so this is my billing address then we have billing address recipient and value is tech group plus so this is my value for that then customer name customer name is also same this one okay then we have due date due date is 170321 okay where is the due date yeah it's here 7032021 similarly for other field invoice data 332021 invoice id is this one slt21-22 slash table 01 Invoice total is mentioned zero. Okay, let's check invoice total. Invoice total, where is that field? Yeah, it's this one. Considering, I think. Text is this one, 95524. Five Okay, similarly for other fields also. Description is item name one. We have this item name one. Then we have others value, product code and all. Okay. So it's working well. And this is how we can integrate logic app with form recognizer. That's all for this video. Thank you for watching.